Welcome back to this special edition of Hannity. Well, it looks like the latest so-called bombshell in the Russia probe may be uh, falling flat yet again. Get used to it. As McClatchy reporter Greg Gordon is admitting that his new story on Michael Cohen allegedly being in Prague in 2016, you know, meeting with the Russians, relies actually not on first-hand knowledge or second-hand, but third-hand knowledge. Watch this. Did your sources see the intercepts for themselves, or are they passing along information from other people? Uh, the sources have, some of the sources have government sources, uh, and some of the sources are, are uh, uh, people who have told us that they have trusted uh, intelligence type sources that they get information from. We don't know the specifics, but we have used these sources on many subjects and they have been very accurate. So, you know, that sounds a, a lot like the Steele dossier. I reread the Steele dossier today. I told you that today. Because the, the, the reality is, if your sources didn't see the intercepts themselves, did they let you see them? Did they let us? Were you, were, did they pass? Is, have you seen the intercepts? No. No. Bit of a problem there. Even MSNBC says this looks a lot like the infamous Steele dossier. And remember, Cohen has flatly denied the report. And in yet another bizarre turn, a new court filing claims uh, that Robert Mueller collected a, quote, nude selfie as part of his investigation. No, not of himself, but a nude selfie just generally through his investigation. Joining us now for reaction, Fox News contributor David Webb and former Clinton pollster Doug Schoen, who's also a Fox News contributor. So this guy, Reed McClatchy, you know, you, you mm-hmm. saw the clip. It, I did. It, it's kind of like a guy told a guy who told me. Right. And it, right. It, it's not only thin. I mean, it's reckless and irresponsible, Doug. Well, look, Michael Cohn is presumably looking for a formal cooperation agreement or a letter from the special counsel that he fully cooperated. He has said explicitly not only that he was not in Prague, but he was not in the Czech Republic. If it wasn't the case, how could he be doing this given what he is ultimately seeking? And that sourcing, Greg, makes no sense at all. You haven't seen it in even the Times or the Washington Post. I looked at it. It's garbage. Um, And as I pointed out in my book, about this very subject, that was something that was demonstrably false. And, I mean, Cohen has every reason, if it's true, to say it's true, he'd be golden with Mueller. Exactly. Yeah, and and the fact is that this is something so easy to prove if it was true. So this goes beyond hearsay, right? Remember, first, second, third? It's triple, quadruple hearsay. Right, but the problem with this also is where is reporting gone for me as somebody who's who's in the media? You got the guy from Der Spiegel who makes up stories and facts, doesn't have real sources. You've got these reporters. McClatchy's a respectable organization. They've got to be looking at this and what this does to their organization. Well, I mean, yeah, what about that? Well, it does raise questions. And look, I looked last night when this came out for how the mainstream media handled it, what Cohn said, what his so-called spokesman lawyer, Lanny Davis, said. And none of it gave me any confidence that this sourcing about a cell phone that may have taken a vacation on its own somewhere near the Czech Republic, which is about all that seems to be uh, reported, um, is the case. I, I, I'm befuddled by the whole thing, just totally. Yeah. Well, there's not even really a legal aspect.